Yes, we are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. You and I are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Our nation, Nigeria, is victorious in the name of Jesus. Just as in 2015, all the predictions came to nothing because God intervened. That is how, in this case, God will intervene in our nation. And all the problems we see, all the afflictions we see, all that is life-threatening, harassing, all that makes our hearts to jump and quake, they cease to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. These are prayers we pray in the private. We have been praying them for over 24 years now. But now we are praying them out aloud and saying it to the north, the south, the east, and the west, connecting it, declaring that the air may hear, the wind may carry it, the elemental forces may be programmed, that you will be energized and encouraged in the place of prayer and the word to wake up and possess your victory. We are victorious because greater is he, First John 4, 4, that is in us, that he that is in the world. Our God is the almighty God, the great I am that I am, the Jehovah that is able to do all things. In the preceding messages we gave this morning, he said, he is the I am that I am. Go to Exodus 3. You'll see it there from verse 17. He said, he is the I am that I am. So, we are here. 1 Timothy 1.17. 1 Timothy 1.17. To declare victory. And to give unto the king eternal. <laughs> That's the person we are saying wake up and call him um, for mercy. And he's saying he has had us. Who is he? First Timothy 1.17. Unto the king eternal. Immortal. He's eternal from everlasting to everlasting. All these COVID-19 theories you are talking about. Then they will show some clips of what people predicted years ago. Those who predicted it, did they not die? Whosoever is propagating anything to say to depopulate the world, whatever theory, they will die because they are humans. But our God is eternal. So we don't believe any of those things. We believe only in what our God can do. We believe in the unfailing power of our God. We believe in the faithfulness of our God to preserve us as a nation, to preserve the nations of the world, to ensure, except if it is his will, if he say this is his will, that the time has come. Because Matthew 24 says that in the end time, rumors of one was all these things will happen. So if it is his will, fine. If not, the enemy can never, never, never overrun us. Because we have the king eternal. First Timothy 1.17. The king immortal. He's immortal. You can't kill him. So nobody can kill this gospel. This gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ cannot be killed. He cannot go under. Unto the king invisible. You can't see him. That's why we are saying deploy the weapons of war. You want to use AK-47, you want to use knife. No. That one no be no be no be no be warfare now. That one a child play. We are our God day. This is our God, an invisible God. Can use the air, the rain, the sun, the moon, the stars, anything at all. Everything is under his power. He's invisible. And so the God that is invisible and he wants to fight, who can stand him? Who can withstand him? He is the only wise God. The wisdom of men will fail them. The wisdom of those in our nation, the nations of the world. Is there anyone perpetrating evil? Is there anyone sponsoring evil? Is there anyone encouraging evil? Is there anyone saying that we should not sleep? Our God, the King eternal. 1 Timothy 1 17, immortal, invisible, the only wise God is already in charge. 
to him be all the glory, all the honor. Because the battle actually is his. The battle is not ours. The battle is his own. And so we call on him to fight his battle. We call on him to wage his war for himself. And so, Father, you defend yourself. You defend your church. You defend your people. You defend the orphans, the widows, the less privileged, the vulnerable in our society, the citizens. Because ordinarily, there is nothing the citizen can do. No weapon, nothing, nothing. But with you, we are more than conquerors. And so we thank you for our army, all the enforcement agencies. Father, preserve them, help them. Fight the battle for them. As they go to battle, be the commander of our army and the armies of the world. The, the fight that is just, fight it to the end. Let there be no Achan in the camp. That is a backstabber, no. You can't be fighting in front and somebody is stabbing you as a friend in the back. Is there any Achan in our army? Is there anyone using the machinery of government, the resources of government, to strike terror? For us, it is our money. Father, you will fish them out. If there be any, we not prayer with them, we know no, we know Sabi, but we they pray. Front and back prayer. We go pray for, we go pray against. If inside the army, so, if inside government, anyone they where they post and say, God will fish them out. Take care of them for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Then the ones that are good, God will protect them. God will defend them. God will help them in the name of Jesus. Yesterday, I went to town. And usually when I see the military vehicles, I'll be praying, praying for them, praying for them. But somehow, I wanted to have misgivings. I said, no, no, no. We must not have misgivings about our army, our police, our soldiers. No. I almost felt bad. And they said, where are you people? Where are you? What is happening? <laughs> then I said, no, that one no go work. I quickly changed my mindset. mindset. When you condemn the police, when you condemn the soldiers, when you condemn those that are out there fighting for us, we, are not, we have now become a nation divided against itself. Because I was by the secretary, it's come and see them pass. Pee, 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 pee. So they're like, where are you people when they, they can enter here? Where are you? The woman said, no, this man said, no, be am. No, be am. I changed my mind and I begin to pray for them. You said, change your mind. Pray for them. We didn't go, but they are going. Pray for them. Let God go with them. Let God help them. Let God protect them. Let them come back safely in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our president. We thank you for our vice president all that are in government, give them courage, wisdom, strength. We have already given the scripture here. First Timothy 1, where God has proven that he is the immortal, all-knowing, all-seeing, powerful. And he gave you people the mandates. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. Wake up and do that which is needful. Wake up. Receive courage, strength. If government is sincere and they say, one week, one week, we want everything to stabilize. It is stabilized. Father, help them to do that which is needful, that which is proper in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the armies of the hosts of heaven that are released, angels that are released to go and fight. Fight for us, fight for our armies in the mighty name of Jesus. The sun, the moon, the stars, all the elemental forces will fight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We we'll bless your holy name. To you be all praise forever and ever. Daddy, we thank you.